Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We are jumping in today as my first run back after being on holiday in Greece. Of course, you guys still got uploads, but I haven't actually played Isaac in a while. And of course, having a time off means that there's a lot of new mods. And one of mod one of the mods is Last Judgment, which adds the Mortis flaw that was meant to be added to Repentance, but because of development time, they just kind of ran out and didn't add it. And it's been added as a mod, so we're going to try and see if we can see it. Now, it is only a 50% chance of it showing up when we go to the floor, so it's not guaranteed. But I'm really hoping and managed to get it um and we as you can see here started with a pretty interesting item we started with um polychoria tears of fire in large clusters which split on hitting objects which i think is the tainted version of um polyphemus which is pretty cool we got uh, got ourselves a poly item to start and then just how to jump and wiggle worms pretty good for the extra fire rate bonus on an item like this so i, I i'll just keep that as well and it also kind of looks cool with the uh the cluster of shots plus the wiggle worm. I think it looks kind of interesting. But yeah, I ended up having a, a really, really, really good holiday. Um, of course, Greece is just a fantastic place. If you're going to go on holiday and you want to just relax and ha have good food, there's probably no better place I could recommend than Greece. It's so... As, as long as you go to the right places, it's so relaxed and the food is so nice. And the weather's pretty good. I said pretty good. It's very good. It was like 35 degrees the entire time we were there. It was just a really good time. And then my uh, my sister and her partner and um, my mom and dad were also out there while we were there. So it was kind of like a family holiday. It was really, really enjoyable. Um, and I had some of the best food of my entire life, as I did last time I went to Greece. But this time, I don't know. Some, some, of, the, some of the things just were stepped up a notch, I've got to say. Some of the things were heavily stepped up. Magician. Right, let me just quickly wait on this dude to... There you go. I'll pop this pill. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I use how to jump effectively, and this is how you repair me. Um, Like, I, I had a, a tomahawk pork chop at this one place. It's like a tomahawk steak, but yeah, pork. And oh my god, it was like one of the best meals. Probably one of, if not the best meal of my entire life. And it was like 16 euros. And it was it was so unbelievably cheap for such an incredibly good meal. Um, And it was like, it was like normally the tomahawk steaks and stuff, it's like a massive burn. This it wasn't. It was like the size of if it had a huge burn. It, without the burn. Also, why does, why does this guy keep going invisible? That would be something to do with Last Judgment. I've heard that Last Judgment tweaks some of the sprites of some enemies, and I'm guessing that's interfering with one of my sprite mods. Oh my god. Okay, so far, not so good. I'm going to quickly go back here and uh, grab that red heart so that I don't die on the next floor. Oh, don't do this to me. There you go. Wait, what? Oh, that, that meat. I think that meat was a HP up. It didn't say that it was. That was slightly confusing. Stands to reason that it would be, but it didn't say that it was. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be going down to Downpour, of course, because we want to try and see Mortis, which is the alternate version of Corpse. So we are going to be going for a mother run here. Like I said, there isn't a guarantee we'll get it, but... We should still see some new stuff along the way anyways, because it does add some new enemies on the alt path, as well as tweak some sprites of certain enemies as well, which is pretty cool. So there's a decent amount to see with this. It's a pretty decently sized mod. I like it. I like to see it. I like to see it. But yeah, also as well, there's some, uh, there's, there's some new characters to showcase, like these pure characters, which is kind of like a seaside version of some of the characters, which seems pretty interesting as well. Um, I like the idea of it. There's, I think, Maggie, Judas, Isaac, and um, Kane so far. And I think Kane has, like, a sword and shield. There's some pretty interesting stuff from what I've read, and I'll definitely be showcasing those over the next week or so um, to see what we can find out with them. I mean, new characters are always fun. I just jumped over that spiked rock there, not even thinking. I did not know that it would negate the damage, and I'm so glad that it did, because <laughs> I kind of shat myself as I did that. Um, yeah. Let's go with that. And we will crack that open. Thank you. Zealot Heart could prove to be good if we can keep it alive. I can't remember if I have to kill these enemies or not. Yeah, seemingly I do. This is very good so far. Is this an XL? Yes, it is an XL floor. Okay, so it's very worth doing the uh, the mirrored boss on this floor. If we can manage it. Because then we'd get double payouts. 
can get to those chests, not that we have the keys to, not that they contain anything I'd be caring to have anyways either. So the fire stuff seems to be super common, but I, I, I do wonder how much like damage the poison does, if it's just standard. Oh, really? More? I'm killing most enemies in like one fell swoop here though, which is nice. These tiers seem to be pretty darn good. I can imagine with some tier effects this could get pretty wild. Obviously big enemies like that, I'm not going to kill in one hit, but you know what I mean. Generally I'm killing enemies in one hit. Let's go straight for our bosses here. Unfortunately, this guy I am not fond of just because of the little firefly dudes who shoots out. But yeah, do that sometimes. Which I think is hella bullshit. Luckily, we got a little spider boy jumping out and doing some good attacks for us. Thank you. Ooh, that's some damage, baby. That's some damage. Lovely. I'm going to do a magician for this as well. Make our life a little easy with the wiggle worm. Wiggle worm isn't that bad, but it can distract you a little bit sometimes. We need to keep our two bombs here, so I can't use the bombs on this dude as much as I'd like to. Oop, that's a big cough up there. So some attacks he can do where he rushes you down, so I'm being very wary of that. But hopefully, yeah, we got him. We got him. Could I reasonably do both of those without being hit? Maybe. I will check out this here. Definitely, definitely, definitely want this. Damage multiplier here seems very, very tasty. It's a big bonus to our damage here. And yeah, I think I probably do want to go and do my... Um, we've got another item room to find yet. But I probably do want to do my bosses there. Like, with the damage we've got now, they should go down pretty darn fast, I'd, I'd imagine. Like, one shot in these big boys kind of goes to show... Oh, dude. He skulked right past me there. Killed my little Lemmageddon heart. I was enjoying that Lemmageddon heart. Random. Strange Attractor, baby. Okay, this could get a little saucy. Strange Attractor. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. But, one interesting thing about Strange Attractor here, because we're firing a large cluster of shots, the magnetic pull of them should be very, very high. Which means that we should have a pretty good time of killing like a lot of enemy, uh, like dragging like a lot of enemies directly into our tiers correctly. We can actually open these now that we have the uh, the capital in terms of keys. Not that any of them are really worth anything to us, but yeah, that one's decent. That one's decent. Right, let's go for it. I don't know which item room you go to actually. I've not really thought about that. Ooh, a soul heart. I'm going to leave the pills for now, thank you. Yeah, look at that. The pull, the pull power on this is actually really nice. I, I am actually a strange attractor lover. I do enjoy the item a lot. So it is cool to see something like this where it works to its advantage pretty heavily. Okay, we did get it first time. Right, let's go try and do the bosses now. I'm a little bit apprehensive with this, I'll be honest, but let's give it a go. A little bit apprehensive, but we shall see. I'm trying to use how to jump to uh, get through the floors a bit faster, but it's not easy. Grab that. Extra key, lovely. Got an email there. Apologies. Don't know why. It's like 9 o'clock. Not quite that late, actually. It's like 6, six o'clock. Still there. Okay, he's the, this is the only guy that could realistically end me. So I've just got to be really careful of the uh, the flies. Yeah, we destroyed him. Blood Clot is very nice for us here. Okay, that was, that was easy. The range I'm not particularly bothered about, but everything else there is pretty good stuff. 
pretty good stuff. Right, we've got our two bombs ready to go. Oh, I, really, I really am hoping now that Mortis actually shows up for us. Because I really would like it to. What I'm going to try and do though, if it doesn't show up, I will add a section onto the end of the video where I showcase it. Just so you guys don't have a whole... Because I think it would be a little cheeky of me to do a whole video where you've watched the entire run and don't get to see the thing that's in the thumbnail. I think that would be rather cheeky. So basically, if I don't get Mortis, I will basically go and redo it and show off Mortis, because I think that'd be more interesting. Okay. I think there's an item, actually, that lets me save my items from one run to another, because that could be an interesting way of... Uh, Getting mortars with the same items rather than to remember and give myself them all back. Okay, this is getting annoying now. Give me that key, please. Finally, have enough for them to make the shop work, so we'll try and do that. How to jump needs to be more consistent with the distance at which it wants to jump. It doesn't seem to want to know. Thank you. Don't need to charge anything up, but still. Okay, I can't kill that. Dude, the damage we are outputting right now is, is pretty good. Boom. I'm gonna go straight for the boss here, I think. Token there could be good, could be good. Ah, it's you. It's always you. There's no other boss in this fall. Ooh, that's, that's a new enemy. It's definitely a new enemy. Must be from the uh, Last Judgment pack. Oh. I don't see the last ghost. Where is he? Ah, he, <laughs> he just killed himself on the fire. Thank you. My little head's jumped off. Ah, dude. Not having a head's making it hard to see where, I, where I'm meant to be. Oh my god. Taking some really rough damage here. It's the fire rate. The fire rate's brutal right now. We don't nearly have enough. There's some tears. Just in the nick of time. Oh, that's a very low amount of tears game. That is not the saving grace that I was hoping for. Now, remember we got that token there, so we find a soul heart. In fact, we just did find a soul heart, so... If we don't pick, if, uh, pick up anything else, I'm pretty sure that will give us a soul heart. It did. Okay, good. That's exactly what I was hoping for. I said that like I hadn't literally just found and picked up a soul heart. I think I just kind of instantly forgot because there's those two things, like the token wasn't on my mind at the time when I picked up the soul heart, so I just kind of didn't make the connection immediately. At least I thought of it eventually. Right, check out the shop. Member card, I will see what we get at least. I do like the fact the member card actually opens one up on the floor that you're on. Some things don't work that way. Dude, we're getting so many battery themed things with an active that just... Ugh. Doesn't work for us. We've got dad's battery and that other devil deal. We've had some charged keys and like battery drops and stuff. And it's like, oh, come on. Oh, man. Okay, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Ah, dude, more batteries. Item room, where art thou? I do love the fact that how, how to jump allows you to do jumps like that, though. It's not just little baby jumps. You can jump an entire room. Excuse me. I didn't know he could do that. Oh my god, that's a bad item. That, however, that could be pretty interesting. My goodness, that could be pretty interesting for us right about now. I like the idea there. Okay. We've got something cooking, potentially. 
We potentially have something cooking. I forget the strange attractor works on your bombs. Wow. What a horrible, horrible set of results from those stern chests. Right, we go down. Hey, we got the new floor here as well, the grotto. Fire rate, we gotta take it. In fact, tier accuracy might be, a, uh, like, lower tier accuracy might be good because our tiers will spread more. Which kind of gives us that shotgun effect with the uh, joint tiers that we're looking for. Seems to be working pretty well. I like it. Dude, our health is not good. <laughs> oh, damn. You're new. This is intriguing. Our character looks absolutely heinous as well, by the way. Have we got an item in this room? Is that bloody lust? I've not got enough speed. That's definitely hindering me right now. Okay. It's hard to recognize this isn't pits. You can just walk over this dirt. Very much worried that I'm going to die. My electric tears are good, but are they good enough? Also, the music on this floor, by the way. And this isn't the floor by particularly showcasing today, but the music on this floor is very good. Oh, he slipped in the wall there. I saw you, boy, I saw you. Honestly, having how to jump, it's kind of a blessing. Doesn't come in handy all the time, but when it does, it does. Oh my god, that was a lot of electricity. Remember when Tech Zero, like, just did full damage with his lasers? Wild times, man, wild times. Ah, I was really hoping for soul hearts from that there. Sadly, still no. Okay. We need fire it. We need health. We can make it work. In fact, we kind of can't make it work right now, because we do have to give two soul hearts away to get through to the next floor, so... Something that hadn't crossed my mind, really. We are definitely going to need more health. Please have something decent. That's decent enough. The HP alone is pretty good. The shot speed's kind of whatever. Oh, that was a good shot, good sir. I like the way you leave little footsteps in the uh, dirt there. Ooh, have I fought this boss before? I don't think I have. Oh my god, he's aggressive. Oh my god, he's aggressive. I just simply don't have the speed to get out of the way of that dash. <laughs> Smooth stone's good there. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think I really have anything I can use here. What does this do? Let me just put a bomb here to suck this over the gap. I'll keep it, but unfortunately those aren't very good for me. Oh, wait. There you go. <laughs> that worked out amazingly, actually. We are good to go. Wow, okay, I got an eternal heart and a black heart out of that little fella. Very, very nice. I really need piercing. Oh, card reading's very nice here. I like card reading a lot. Speeds up the last floors significantly. Although, if we get Mortis, we will not be skipping. 
As much as it is my natural thing to do on those floors that don't have item rooms. Can we can we stop with the birds, please? Thank you. I'm just like pushing all the enemies to the end of the other wall. It's funny. You're not going to get me. Oh, baby, you did just reveal that to me, though. That was rather sweet of you. Jump it. Okay. Tinted rock as well, dude. We are getting... That, the health is coming up. Oh, and a blackout from that... Oh, my God. Okay, health is no longer really a concern, even. Oh, come on now. PhD's not the best, but I'll take it. And of course I get all cards. Couldn't have been all pills, could it, from those chests? What do we even get? Emperor, Empress... with this and get some extra money, I guess. Or one penny, for some reason. I don't know why that other enemy didn't drop any money there. Triple shot is, is doing as well right now. I wish I had triple shot permanently. Lost cork doesn't do too much for us, I don't think. I think we're out now. Yeah, we don't have our triple shot anymore. Damn, that triple shot was amazing. That was doing bits for us, that was. Come on, Mortis, please. Don't screw me. Deals damage to the player equal to half of your red hearts. For the next 20 seconds, animals will drop heart pickups. I guess that's good. I don't know if I've really screwed myself here or not. I got a soul heart out of that guy, though. What else do I need this floor? Nothing. I've been seeing my item room. Oh, we got warp zone. Hello. We only do so much to this guy, though, before he spawns a boss, right? There you go. Just little old monster. We can deal with him. I think he's got to spawn at least two bosses before you can fully kill him. Unless you've got insane DPS, and then it'll let you bypass it. Larry? Yeah, Larry. It's always Larry and Monstera. I don't actually know if he has any others. They're the only two I've ever seen him do. Away he goes. That's pretty good. I don't really know how much health I've, how much health I've got here, so... Yeah, kind of glad they're both dookie. Down we go. I can't have a lot of health. Oh, no, I still have good health. Cool. Okay. Take the random. That's decent, yeah. I'll take it. Ooh, and we got a tainted treasure item here as well. Nice. Tears and bombs will be connected to you with beams of electricity. Basically, they're, they're, they're on us rather than the tiers, between the tiers, they're between us and the tiers. I think we're better off with what we've got right now.
Eight walls. Okay. Can you give me anything beautiful, Airwalls? Yeah, actually. Gideon's Gaze is pretty goddamn good. Although Gideon's Gaze is weirdly gonna... I wouldn't say break, but change the challenge of some of the rooms in Mortis, should we get there. Because it basically removes any, um... What are they called? The little firing stone face. What the heck? Grimaces. Oh, tears up. Yes, please. Oh, what? Apparently we're at the limit of our tears. Damage. Some more damage. I'm gonna keep doing this. More damage. Okay, this is just trading heart containers, but yeah, please. That seemed really worthwhile. I gained a ton of speed and damage and luck off of the back of that, so I ain't complaining really. Yeah, and also we can get black hearts for killing grimaces too, which is kind of nice. This so far is uh, is going pretty well. That room was uh, very amazing for us. Very, very amazing. We're killing most things in a single hit, pretty much. Apart from this guy, who's tanky as all hell for some reason, right as I say that. Oh, that was, that was some uh, creep right there, my bad. Wow, I am taking some bad hits right now. No, 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 no. Can't be asked for the crows, they take too long. Interesting. Anything in here for us this time around? What is that? It's kind of interesting. I think I'll just take that, to be honest. See if I can keep it alive. Damage taken applies no penalties. What's that trinket? That seems pretty interesting. So, like, I'm guessing that means, like, no devil deal penalty and stuff like that. What? That was the most... Oh, man. He absolutely curved the shit out of that then. That was unexpected. Right. Give ourselves the knife piece. Go on in. And please give us more. It's 50% chance to get it. It'd make my life a lot easier recording-wise if it just gave me it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Yes, we did. Hey, into the secret room as well. Cool. Oh, we got PhD, haven't we? Nice. What's a range? Let me gulp that drink it. Okay, fair enough. Oh, whoa. Okay, so like all of this is new to me. I, I didn't look at this before, and yeah, I've not I've not seen any of this. That's an interesting enemy. He's got like a little knife in his head. I like it. I like it a lot. But yeah, I think there's gonna be all new enemies in this floor, and an all new boss on this floor as well. I think actually, because we don't go straight to to the mum fight, do we? Whoa, a knife came out the floor there. What the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. These guys have little needles on them. I don't know what these guys are doing. This is really cool. I love the, the, the look of it as well. I am able to kill through these guys' armor at some points. Yeah, I can kill through that armor with a red shot, which is real nice. That's really good too. Thank you. I very much need the HP. Whoa, it's like a virus. 
Like spewing out little viruses. Oh my god, I'm liking this. It's going to make the, going this alt path so much more interesting. Some more of these guys. Oh, little mini monsters. Whoa, what the hell's he fired there? It's like lodged something into the ground. Oh, and it splits when I get near it. Okay. I had to, I had to do it for science. Let me just quickly go back and... I'm so glad I got that speed, by the way, earlier. I'm going to go, go back and quickly grab the red hearts over here, because... I do not want to lose my burn heart under any circumstances because that thing's going to be keeping me afloat. Keeping me afloat and keeping me a happy. And there's some watery floors as well. Interesting, interesting. Oh, we got some trap rooms using those things that have been uh, brought back. The coils, I think they were called, in anti birth that were never actually added to uh, this. That's really cool to see. Got an arcade here that I didn't go into. Not much going on there. Although, I've got six coins. I might as well try and get a soul heart. Or trinket. Didn't get either though. So we, got, we do have some regular enemies here, but a lot of new ones. This guy's like kind of a, a, a beast. Oh my god, I got hit there. Please don't let me lose the burn heart. At the same time, I could go back, but since all the walking... Bad guess. Hey, our tears up did work there. Don't know why I didn't before. These guys are tanky, man. They have quite a charge up to them. Whoa! So uh, things like a lot of the enemies look look kind of like viral, like like little viruses and like they're infected and stuff. I think that's a really cool theme to this floor. And there's a lot of a lot of stabbiness going on here, a lot of knife-based stuff, which makes a lot of sense considering we're going up against Mother with her knife shortly. Oh, that's an enemy. Is that an enemy? I don't know what's going on with this tear that's chasing me right now, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with it because <laughs> I don't understand it. Yeah, the theming here is really cool. Oh man, and it's like scalpels and stuff, isn't it? Not knives. I see. Oh, dude, you see that? How it's like cutting along the dotted line. Oh, man. They put a lot... It's not just the effort, it's the thought. The theming is so heavy. Like, there's a lot of thought gone into the theme of this floor. That's something that I appreciate more than anything. A little bit of extra damage. It's not much, but it's something. We do get to grab this half heart now to keep our burn heart alive. Very nice. Yeah, they've got scalpels in them. I thought it was knives, but scalpels makes a lot more sense. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the boss is, if it's a new one or if it's just like a reskinned version of an original. I'm imagining it'll be a reskinned, but then again, they're putting a lot of work, so. They might have gone the extra mile and done, done some custom bosses. That they have. I don't know who this guy is. I probably shouldn't have skipped the uh, boss intro, but it's just a natural habit. Oh, so he's he's like a colossomy bag. He's a bomb. Whoa, do you see that? Do you see what he just did? Like a brimstone ring? That was so cool. So this is like a colossomy, um, but like a red version of him. Oh, dude, I'm liking this. He's got some varied attacks. Not too hard either, though. Like, hard, but not crazy hard. Pretty intuitive to learn. Toy drum, pretty good here. And then we don't really know what's going on with any of this, unfortunately, so I can't really take it as much as I'd like to. Down we go to the next pe part of this floor. We can go straight to the boss room here, but you best know that I ain't doing that. Oh, we got another boss here. Is this a boss? This, oh, no, 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 okay. I think it's just the uh, cages that are bosses. I thought this little dude was a boss as well. But I thought he's a bit small for one. But then again, cage looks pretty small for a boss right now as well. I don't have any bombs. Darn, I was going to use one there, but more to the point, I don't have any to block uh, Mother on her uh, dashing phase. I wonder if we've seen all the enemies so far. We've seen quite a few already. I'm starting to see a few repeats and stuff here, which... 
obviously is to be expected by this point. We've already seen a full floor. But I bet there's a few we haven't seen here and there. Yeah, I like this dude. The blue... Wait, is that a blue version of a Fiend Folio enemy? I think that was, you know. I think that was a Fiend Folio enemy that had been reskinned for this floor. Whoa, look at that clotty. He's got like a vial in his head. I like the way you can see like all the little um, experimental treatment uh, vials in the walls. Really, really cool design. That's interesting. I might go for that. What's this little dude doing? His little eyeball. That little scalpel thing's really, really cool. Cutting along the dotted line. It seems about on par difficulty-wise as well here. Seems about on par with Corpse. Which is really good to see. Those guys fire out little pills at you. I kind of want to leave one of these guys alive to see what it does. Whoa! That's not what I was expecting at all. Oh my goodness. Where did I get all these stats from? What that? What happened there? Oh my god! The scalpel theming and stuff is so cool. I'm ready to fight Mother. Be cool if Mother was slightly changed as well, but that would be that would be asking too much. I'm guessing the mother fight room will be visually changed, though. Right, let's go for it. Oh, wait, she is changed. Okay, there's some a little bit of glitchiness going on there. I'm not quite sure why that is. It might just be something to do with the mod being new. Or I might have something that's incompatible. But mother is actually visually changed. I didn't expect that. That's really cool to see. I suppose it is only colour changes, but still, little bits of effort like that go a long way. Dude, I'm getting absolutely steamrolled by this ball right now. Yeah, ooh, the beam changed colour as well, that's so cool. Yeah, there's like a little bit of this room down here, look, it's kind of bugged out a little bit, but... It's not too bad. This is still really, really cool. I've only got one bomb, so I can't be wasting it here. Got to like, save for the dash phase, if she does it. Which she is doing right now. Kind of biffed that a little bit. Oh my god, I biffed that so hard. Oh no. Okay, we got it. We just about did it. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. A really cool look at Mortis and this mod. And definitely be keeping this on for the future. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.